everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with my Dollar Tree project. Um, I went the other day and bought $3 worth of stuff and couldn't decide what to do and I've been lamenting over what to make, but I'm starting it now. So I bought a United States map and I cut the white edging off of it. And then I've been, I folded it up, cut it in sections and folded it up. And now I've been cutting one inch strips with it, which, I will full, I will show you next what I will do with it. So some of the like I said, some of the strips are longer than others, but I'm it doesn't really matter because they're all going to be used the same way. Ordinarily, I would wrap this stuff around a stick, but I don't really want to roll um, rolling things. So I have this pile and more that I need to fold in half and I'll be back after I finish folding them to show you the next step. Okay, so here we are. Here are all of the ones that I showed you that were flat and like this size and maybe a little bit bigger and they're all folded in half. And I forgot to turn the camera on for this part. But here's how I started. Here's what I started with. This is just, uh, this is two, sorry, the dogs are awake. This is two strips. Oh, hang on. Okay. So I taped this up overnight so it wouldn't come unrolled. But while you're in the process, you need to figure out some way to keep things from, you know, springing open. So this is two strips. And I will show you, let me start one and then I'll show you how it got to this point. It doesn't take but a couple seconds. So let me tape that because I don't want it to come undone. All right, so you take one of these and I try to make sure that all the open ends are, in one, are the same direction and all the closed ends are also the same direction. So I just take this and pinch it and then I just kind of roll and I mash it a little bit because it kind of, kind of tries to square off, flatten out, and you just roll. This is not a very complicated sort of thing, and the only thing you need, the only tools you need are digits. Um, I have done billions <laughs> of paper beads. I've done lots of bowls and that kind of stuff that were wound up on Toothpicks, winders, bamboo skewers, wooden sticks, whatever. But this one I'm trying to make simple because I like the flat look. After doing all that rounded stuff, I tried flat once and I really do like the flat look. So you just keep going and going. And see here's the, the closed and there's the open. You can alternate them if you wish for a different sort of look, but I wanted it to all be kind of uniform. I'm not trying to make it perfect, but I just would like a little more uniformity. Okay, so there's the first paper. And I'm going to glue these guys together. I, I glue a little bit on the end, like this. Some people don't glue. I'm going to glue because if it ever comes undone, at least I have the long strip and I can keep going. I just set that on top of it. Again, with the folded top, the folded part on top and the rest of it on the bottom. And you have to really kind of be careful on the part that you glue so that it doesn't come undone as you're trying to actually roll it. And then you just keep going and going and going, and that gives you your little thing. And this is why I tape it. Like, you saw what it just happened. It comes undone. So I just keep gluing and gluing and keep going and going. And show you the progress that I've made since the last time I turned the camera on. This is what's 
what I've gotten so far. When it gets to a certain point, this large like this, it's a little more difficult not to hold it in your hands, but to keep it nice and tight. So I lay it on the table and pull, but don't pull too tight because you'll rip your paper. But I pull on it and you can, you can see it rotating underneath your hand where it's trying to tighten. And I don't want it too tight, but I want it enough that it's not going to fall apart on me. So here we are, and I've got one, two more strips. And this is not nearly going to be enough, so I'm going to have to go back and buy more maps from Dollar Tree. As you can see, <laughs> I had a very busy weekend. Um, I have been working on my hot project. Can you tell? <laughs> my whole desk is covered with these strips of paper that are folded in half. That's all I did was watch TV yesterday all day. It's three or four movies on Netflix. Cut and folded and glued paper. So let me bring you up to date. Here is what I got done from the other stuff that I, I did like one map and went ahead and cut it, fold it, and glued it. And then I decided what well, was kind of silly for me to do one map at a time, that it would be a whole lot better if I just did it and got it over with. You know, like sticking a fork in your eye. <laughs> so this is... Sorry, the cat's being harassed by the dog. Get out. <laughs> Get out.
Okay, I've turned it over a couple times and I just want to make sure that my bottom is good. And this is just going to hold, see, look at this. Now the glue is starting to come off of my fingers onto the paper. This is when you know you're close to the end to stopping because you're getting paper pulp mixed along with the medium on your fingers because it's starting to shed and you're kind of pulling the fibers apart every time the glue is on there and you're moving it, the friction. So my fingers look pretty bad right now from all this glue and the pulp on them. All right, let me take this off and put this in the trash. There we go. Makes it a lot easier when you don't have all that glue on your finger so you can feel what it is you're doing. I think we're done. So now I'm gonna do this again with conviction. <laughs> all right, now I really do want this thing thoroughly coated because I want it to stay together. So what I do is I coat the inside first because, you know, that's the easiest part. Then I let it dry this way for about a week. Then I flop it over and I do the other side. I want to wait till this is nice and hard on the inside before I... Um, before I flop it over because I don't want to find a wet spot that kind of caves. While it's not perfect, it is the largest one I think I've done so far. And I think this is probably as large as I will ever go. This is enough. I don't usually pay to put something like this together. I use magazine pages. I do go buy old maps in um, thrift stores that are like, you know, just like the dollar store, except for these are maps with a little more character other than this plain school, elementary school map. I do love making the bigger bowls. I want to make sure all the glue gets in, all the little nooks and crannies. I'll show you a couple bowls that I've made in the past and let you see the comparison of them. Let me put you back out. Oh, you're already, already out. Already all the way out, sorry. All right. So it'll take a couple days to a week for this to dry. First I do this coat on it. Then I'll do flop it over and do the outside. And then I will take a 50-50 mix of Minwax Poly Acrylic. So I'll use 50% water, 50% of the poly acrylic. I have it mixed in a jar together. And then, um, then I go over it with that also one more time to make sure that it stays and it doesn't come apart. All right, so that's got to dry. There you go, that is one honking bowl. Seven, eight maps. That's a lot. I didn't throw away too many pieces off the map because um, it worked out pretty well. Worked out pretty stinking well. I am really pleased with the way this turned out. It's big. I love big bowls. All right, so let me set this to the side and I'll show you. Uh, let me show you. Where is it? <laughs> Hang on, I'm looking, I'm looking. Ooh, where'd it go? Here. This bowl heard, holds miscellaneous junk. This bowl is made from a Stampin' Up! catalog. See, it holds all kinds of stuff. And that's, all right, let's show the comparison between the two. <laughs> that's, this is not the whole catalog. I'll show you the, this is part two of the catalog. Here is part one. And yes, I throw paper things in here to hold. Let me get my junk out of here. Sorry, I should have done this before I turned the camera on. Oh, oh more things to put away. All right, so this holds junk too. And this is rock solid. This thing is very hard. This is uh, the majority of the Stampin' Up! catalog, 
and the other one were some little pieces that got big and I was like, ooh, I got scared. So I stopped and put the other pieces from the Stampin' Up! catalog in this little bitty bowl. So let's do a comparison. Here's today's bowl and here's last time's bowl. And this bowl is smaller. I can't get them both in the shot, but this one's a little bit smaller than this one. But I do love them both. I like places to throw junk in a bowl till I can come by and clean it out occasionally when it gets too big, which this holds a lot of stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm lazy and I don't empty it out till I absolutely have to. <laughs> this was done the same way I just showed you exact same way except for these are just pages out of the Stampin' Up! catalog. I cut them into one inch strips on the page, took a ruler and an X-Acto knife and went down through the thicknesses of the catalog as best I could. And it turned out great. It's not sticky, never has been. This one is done with the wash of the 50-50 of the poly minwax, polyacrylic minwax. And it's starting to yellow just a little bit. But it's in the sun, and I really don't care that it yellows. It doesn't bother me at all. All right, so there it is for my hop for my Dollar Tree. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't use my stickers. Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to have to come back after I finish this. I'll be back. Okay, here I am with the last part of it, which is a little tricky because of the thickness of the bowl. I'm going to take these clips. I think that'll hold on there. And I put these on the edge of the bowl so that when I'm looking across the room, I can remember what's inside it. So I have one labeled paper, one that's labeled miscellaneous, which is probably the one that's going to get worn out. Because I have several bowls and I can never remember what I put in them. There's miscellaneous. And then this one. <laughs> we'll get a workout too. Because mostly what I put in them is junk. So there we go. So there's junk, miscellaneous, and paper to put around the bowls so that I remember what I put in them. Okay, that's it for my Dollar Tree um, challenge. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was longer than 15, 20 minutes, but I wanted to show you the whole molding process. All right, guys. See you in the next hop. Bye-bye.